time you were on the Kendrick G um, live dating show, right? Um, mm -hmm. What made you interested in going on that show at that time? Uh, hi, yeah, Kendra G. Shout out to Kendra G. Um, for for me, man, having been out here, uh, I, I I jumped on Kendra. Let me think. Two years ago. Yeah. Two years ago in twenty twenty one. Um, having been out here in Los Angeles uh, at that point for um about twelve years, thirteen years. Um, you know, I definitely um, hit the dating scene. I've been on the dating apps. Um, you know, I had a couple of girlfriends in that time period. Um, a lot of um, you know, just female friends over that time period. Yeah. And, um, you know, some people thought I was picky, right? Mm -hmm. But I just, I, just, I just wanted what I wanted. I knew what I wanted in a, in a wife, and um, I knew what I didn't want. And the funny thing is, the funny thing is, I, I had been on Dave Life TV for two years at that point, and I was doing the news, Dave Life TV News is one of my hashtags. I was doing the Dave Life Show. And I had not yet done a podcast. I had an attempt where I did the chi -Town Atlas podcast where me and my cousins were talking about Atlanta and Chicago um, and sports. Right? I did that for like three, four episodes, but it didn't stick. And um, there, was, there was a guy that used to go live all the time. And he was like, Dave, you should jump on my show, man. You should. Uh, I, saw, I saw my homegirl on this show. So I jumped on this show. And he was always talking about like, you know, relationships. He was asking me my advice. People like the fact that I had been married and could talk about marriage and divorce. And he was like, yo, you need to get on Kendra's show. And I'm like, who is Kendra? He's like, yo, she's from Chicago, man. And I'm like, man, I, I left the city a, a minute ago, but I mean, what's up? He was like, yo, she got like a dating app, man. She's on GCI in Chicago and she had a dating app. So I said, all right, you know, so looked her up. Sure enough, she was on WGCI and uh, she was doing her thing. And um, I was, I went to go visit my homeboy in DC and I was out there, I, I believe it or not, I had went on a date with someone I met uh, on Clubhouse. We went on a date. Um, we had like two small dates. It was pretty good dates, right? It was pretty good. Um, getting to know her and stuff, just real real platonic type. But it was, it was good to finally meet her and get to know her. And uh, on, our, on our, our second meetup, first meetup, or I think the second meetup. And on the second meetup, um, we're at my boy's crib. He had a karaoke machine. Everybody was going to do karaoke. I'm sitting there talking to her, and um, let me back up. The day before, I had jumped on Kendra because my homie was like, yo, you need to get on Kendra. So I looked her up. I had had a glass or two of wine, and I said, man, what is this, man? I hit, I hit the sign, boom, looking at it. And then she's like, where the men at? The men, y'all scared? Y'all scared? So I hit the plus sign, and she added me. And I was like, I didn't even know what it was. I was like, hey, what, you know, so what's going on? She was interviewing me. It was a dating thing. I, I gave all my preferences, right? And um, the next day when I was on the date with a girl, I'm sitting there with a glass of wine. I, I have an uh, Apple Watch. And, yo, my phone was like, v -v -v -ring, v -v -v -v. and I'm like, what is going on? And I look up, man, and bro, I had like 100 DMs while I sat there talking to her because Kendra had dropped the video and the women felt some type of way about my preferences. So they were either mad at me or they were trying to meet me. But either way, it elicited a reaction. And I, I sat there, and she was like, is everything okay? I'm like, man, I don't know what's up with my phone. And I said, oh, it's Instagram. You know, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting hit off, off of this uh, dating show. And so she was like, oh. And I said, hey, I'm sorry. I, you know, none personal. I just tried it. So anyway, that's how I ended up on Kendra. I heard about from someone else. And um, the women really had a reaction to all of my preferences. Because, I, you know, I have a strong opinion. And I stated my preferences. I was pretty strong in how I felt. And then um, the next night after the, after, she, after the date was over when the girl left, I sat there and I said, you know what, man? I'm always going on other people's lives. I'm always giving my opinion about relationships. I said, I should just go live right now. And I, I called my boy up and I said, yo, I need you to jump on with me. He said, all right, I know two females. And so Instagram, for some reason, blocked him and wasn't allowing him to get on the live. But it let his family female friend and another female friend jump up and then somebody else jumped on and I ended up having a four hour discussion about men having preferences and how come women can decide they have preferences and no one's upset. But when a man says, I don't want this, I don't want that. I do want this. Mm -hmm. They look at us like we're, you know, like we, like we misogynistic or something. I was, I was like, this ain't right. I should be able to have my own preferences. I did four hours. And when I did four hours, 
uh, I ended the live. This this is when this is when going live was was pretty new. Yeah. I I went live and then Instagram said, "Would you like to share?" Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Yo, I can sh share." I said, "Every time else I've been doing this, it didn't ask me to share." I'm like, "I can share this," and I'm like, "Wait a minute, I can actually publish this right now?" And I said, "Oh, this is a recording. This is a this is a podcast." Yeah. And um, I said, "What should I call it?" And I sat there and I said, "You know what? I felt like this is like Playboy After Dark." Cause you get like you have men talking to women they're talking about sex and, and adult type things mm -hmm. i said I feel like playboy after dark i said but no nah, this ain't playboy after dark this is dave's life after dark and i put that as the, as the name of the podcast and man i had, I had a thousand views the next day Dang. and that was, that was a lot that was a lot back then yeah so so what influenced you on like what made your decision because i know uh the whole topic was that you wanted a woman that was under the age of 28 yeah, I want, or, wanted somebody. I wanted no, 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 no. Originally, I said I wanted twenty six to thirty seven, oh, and then I, and then I upped it to twenty eight to thirty eight. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So then, so what? So then they had a problem about that. So, uh, what made like uh, what made you have that preference at the time? Because I know you explained it. Yeah. So, uh, when I was younger, like when I was uh, when I was twenty one. Um, I dated a woman that was 30. So when I was younger, I always liked I always liked older women when I was younger. Um, yeah. I liked the I liked someone that could kind of teach me something, someone that could settle me down, someone that was uh, mature and they had that nurturing spirit. Um, I married someone that was a year and a half younger than me, so right there in the same age group. Yeah. But she also had a mature spirit. She had that grown mature spirit. Um, when we got divorced and everything, and um, she had a uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome which is something that stops a woman from ovulating. So that means that when you're trying to impregnate her and get her pregnant, no egg is present. She may have a period. Mm -hmm. She may, you know, her lining may come out, but her egg isn't dropping. So mm -hmm. that's what that uh, PCOS does. So since we went through that and we did all types of uh, infertility treatments and everything, when we got divorced, I, I said, man, I really want to marry a woman that's fertile. I really want to marry a woman, you know, that's fertile and, um, you know, I mean, at that point, um, I'm, when I jumped on Kendra, I was 47, right? So at that point, I'm like, I, I'm not going to try to have uh, four or, or six kids, you know, with a woman that's 47, right? I said, I probably need to date younger. And I just started looking at, you know, people that were a little bit younger, and um, I set on the age range of 28 to 38. Mm -hmm. But no, I was never, I was never on no, you know, let me date an 18-year-old. That was something that the lady that was on the show, when I said 28 to 38, she was in her, she was 45. Um, and she, she didn't like it. And she was like, oh, you want to date a kid. And so that's how that whole discussion started. And she tried to like, you know, she tried to suggest things about me. And I was like, no, that's not what I said. What I yeah. said was 28 to 38. And I don't think 28 is anywhere near a kid. So I don't know why you're coming up with that. So I had to really defend myself. And she was drunk and she was going off and it went viral. It was on TikTok. Um, comedian Godfrey commented on Kendra's show the next day. I remember I saw Tank. Tank had commented on, um, he put in the comments, like, he's like, man, this dude can't have his own preference. Like, if the man want a younger woman because his ex couldn't get pregnant, he want a younger woman that's fertile. Like, he's like, what's wrong with this man wanting a, a younger, grown woman, you know? Yeah. And so it, it, it sparked the conversation of, you know, why do some men want a younger wife and uh, why do uh, some men not want to date women older or their age. And I'm like, look, y'all can paint whatever picture you want. I gave y'all exact reasons why exactly. I wanted someone between yeah. the ages of 28 and 38. So mm -hmm. I didn't let them, I didn't feed into the mess. I kind of shut it down, but it, it went viral. And I'll say this, Berner, yeah. when, you go vi when you go viral and it's a negative thing and people are trying to like, you know, say something negative or put something on you, mm -hmm. man, it, it, it hurts, but you just kind of got to like keep your mouth shut and let God fight your battle and, and maintain who you are. Um, the one thing that I did do is when I had my show the next night, I definitely got on my show and I, I addressed the topic. I vented. There were some women that were on there that were upset with me because they were like, you know, we feel like um, we feel like, uh, you know, well, why do you want someone younger? Why do you have anything against anyone older? And I'm like, see, that's the thing. I don't have anything against. If y'all listen, I said, I want two to four children, maybe six. And I'm like, yes, a woman in her 40s could have children. 
But why would I going through infertility in my 30s with my 30-year-old wife, why would I now in my 40s, in my late 40s, go find a woman in her 40s or late 40s and try to have six children? You see, if you, if you take in context what I've been through, then you say, oh, I see why he's a little precautious and he try, try to find somebody in the earlier for fertile years. You know? yeah, but then